Yo, what is up, guys? It's Aaron Grad, and yes, I understand that I've changed my name, but however, uh, I'm, I swear this is gonna be my new name, even though at the time of this recording, my name is not that, but it's my full name. Um, don't worry about that. That's just, um, this, I'm on my personal account. But, um, today I'm gonna be doing something new, and, um, I'm gonna be on Reddit. Because, um, I feel like, to be honest, I could learn more views, maybe, and this is something new I can try. Maybe I can learn some more subscribers. Um, so, um, a quick little thing to say is that my content doesn't focus on one thing exactly. It focuses on many kinds of content, from Pokemon card openings to browsing Reddit to playing games. So, really, there's no real focus other than the fact that I can just do whatever the hell I want on my account. Uh, YouTube, if you're watching this, then yeah, I curse on my videos. Don't do anything about it. I want to see comments on my video. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to be reading um, Reddit comments. This is totally new, so please bear with me. Uh, and I'm going to see how good we I can do with this video. So please uh, like and subscribe if you can. And let's get into this. <clears throat> if I'm driving faded, how I normally do, and a N-word, do a brake check, I just might cause crash because... Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm really bad at stuttering. I'm really... Let me repeat that. I'm really bad at talking when I'm recording. I try to, you know, sound energetic, but um, this is my first time doing this, so please bear with me. So, break check. I might just crash because what the... Don't throw me off like that, Chief. <laughs> That's awesome. My grandpa was killed from a faded driver, swerved into him head on, and ejected him through the windshield onto the pavement where he bled out. But that's awesome that you drive faded normally. Sorry about your grandfather, but it's a game of chance that I'm going to take. All right, these are the kind of people where they you they're um like my mother says in Spanish que la pesta la vida. <laughs> yes, I'm Hispanic, um because usually they just probably just hate life and stuff. Uh, but if I swear, if anything like this were to happen, I would have I would have you better hope you got that insurance with you. Let's see, makes you wonder how bad it was for the kids to be taken away in the first place. Good news, me me and Babe found out we only have to stay clean three more months till we get our kids. What? Dude, that is... That is... That's terrible. Jokes aside. Um... Please do get help if, you know, your parents are doing drugs. If I mean, that's my interpretation of what's going on here. But... But this looks horrible. It almost makes me sad for the children. Reposted because of identifying information. Ice cream shop closed down because teenage employee quit after being berated by customers. As I turn the key in the lock tonight, my thought is that we shall simply not open to the general public until something resembling normal returns. In 19 years of operation, this is the lowest feeling I've ever felt. I will read all posts and reply to them, but I lived it and I and can only imagine what awaits. We were overwhelmed, plain and simple, regardless of people's frustrations to take it out on a teenage girl is simply wrong. It costs one of my best employees due to rudeness directed to her tonight. So, so wrong. In so many ways, to treat a teenager with such disrespect, no matter circumstances, more posts to fall. This actually kind of reminds me of this, um, this, uh, this news post, right? It says that this woman, this girl was bullied in school a lot, and she committed suicide, and yet again, they still kept making suicide jokes about her killing herself. Uh, personally, that's just sick. Um, I'm not, I, I mean, I don't can, no, no. I don't usually support that kind of stuff, but please, if you're being bullied, you should really, um, seek help, because, uh, that could happen. I'm not saying that, I mean, if it's passive, then I guess it's alright, because, like, it's just a joke, but, I mean, if they take it too far, then, I mean, it's, it's okay to, you know, feel a little comfortable, but just go on with it. But if it gets too far, then you should probably tell someone, um, talk therapy usually works with people. Burn down the take a book, leave a book. Oh my god, why do people do this? Why? Dude, it's just a guy trying to sell books, and you burn the books. Dude, this kind of reminds me of... Alright, so I'm reading this book in my ELA um, class today, um, at the moment, called Fahrenheit 451, written by Ray Bradbury, right? And the firemen actually kind of burn the books because they believe in, you know, censorship of what they read, because... Um, I think that the government believes that they should be happy, but I don't know, th but this is not... What I thought they'd, they'd be doing. It's just books. It's books for people who want to read. 
Okay, woman of that she has to wait three hours of, for food from Red Lobster on Mother's Day when the restaurant has a reduced staff. Get out! I uh, get out! No, stop it! Hey, what's going on? Get out of my fucking body bag! You will get it! Get out! Get out! Get this no. bitch off me! No! Get out! Get out! Stop it! Get her off me! All right. Um, I don't know where this is, but this somehow re resembles, um, where I live. There are people where they, they can't wait because people are celebrating Mother's Day, right? But these are the people who either, they're just really bitter at the fact that they either lost their parents or that they just don't have any respect at all for the people who actually want to dine with their parents. I mean, I don't know the context of the video right now because I don't see her with any parents at the I moment. But if you're going to be coming in disturbing the peace like that because it mother's day is a special day if you're gonna be coming in like that then why then why just you know go just stay home just you know be sad about yourself just look at yourself in the mirror realize that what you were doing is wrong mother's day is special and don't let and don't let anyone tell you that your mother's not all right this does not seem like a good lesson to teach you i mean it doesn't seem like a real lesson but just don't, because mothers are special. Um, go, <laughs> I encourage you after this video, go over to your mom and just kiss her and tell her, I love you, mom. That's it. And, and yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll get heartwarmed by that. Let's see. I'm not sure how she can speak properly with those lips. Woman with world's biggest lips says she's not done with, inj oh my God. Injectables? Oh my God. <laughs> this is Kim Kardashian type stuff. Dude, how can you even speak with all the, <laughs> Uh, dude, I can't do good impressions. Yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know, man. But, like, I can only imagine how hard it is talking with lips that size. Trust me. Uh, I actually got a uh, lip infection one time where I could barely speak. And you know, I'd always have a lisp to my um, to my speech. I don't know why I had a lisp. Just, just don't ask me. Leave people alone. Woman arrested for calling her ex-boyfriend 27,000 times a week. Just need to know how often she called him. 27,000 divided by 7. Oh my god, I'm not reading that. This is, that that's math. 160 calls each hour. Approximately 3 calls each minute. He got a call every 20 seconds for a week. Dude. I understand that she's trying to call her boyfriend, but come on. People have boundaries. People, um, at this time, they're trying to do their own thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just looking at this makes me th wonder what was her motive. Gary effed up. Looks like Gary's looking somewhere <laughs> to crash tonight. I changed the locks, Gary. Take the bed to Laura's house. Slut, I'm divorcing you. I told the kids what you did in our bed, and they don't love daddy anymore. Oh, my God. I gotta look at this. <laughs> anymore. Oh, God. Jesus, that that that's terrible. Never cheat on your wife because you know this is what's gonna happen. Waiting until the neighbor you dislike goes inside so you can drench the inside of her car. Hold on. Oh my God, what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my god. Why is he doing that? What's what's the motive behind it? Please tell me. What is the motive behind soaking the inside of her car? That does not accomplish anything. I swear. These are the kind of people that are really useless. And that don't really serve too much of a purpose. These are the people we should be criticizing. Not people like, you know... Like homeless people, we shouldn't be criticizing them. That you never know what kind of situation. But these are the people we should be criticizing. Now, I could be talk talking gibberish. Or I could be talking straight facts. I don't know. That's here for you to decide. But these are the kind of people we don't need in society. Spotted at a local grocery store this morning. I love, you know what? Okay, okay. Why, dude? J just why? Why would you write? Ugh. My God, what's what's the meaning behind that? Why is is that? A, why should you write that? That is just pure. That that's just pure um, 
hatred towards people, man. That sucks. Spotted this car in the Dollar Tree in my city. You gotta love what's in the cup holder. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, this was at a Dollar Tree? Jesus Christ, no wonder. Because looking at this, I can only imagine what the driver was thinking when he decided to get the roof cut off or whatever the, whatever the heck happened here. Classy family right here. Khloe Kardashian's T. Peter's sister is housed during a toilet paper shortage and they aren't happy. Oh my god, this is... Why is this on trashy? This is th These are rich people problems. It doesn't matter. Really. Going on a date. If we're going on a date and you didn't don't offer to pay for Betty Lee's hitting plus a go to box meal for my child, we are not going. Why should my baby daddy or I have to come out of our of hold on, of our own pocket when you're the one asking me out? The whole day should have already been planned out, including all extra fees. Uh shoot. I don't know what the context of the situation here. Please don't judge me for being slow. This guy I knew from high school who apparently didn't get the memo. Real talk. If you have a chin strap or something a little thicker than that, just just effing shave B facial hair. It's not your DNA. You're a beta cuck. Leave me being a horse. Oh my god. Dude, these are the kind of annoying people that are going to be texting you. I swear. <laughs> no mask for your child. No pro. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he have him in the bag? Dude, that is not going to accomplish anything. I swear. Dude, this kid reminds me of this one cursed image I saw, right? This guy was inside a trash bag, and the only thing that was sticking out was his legs. It looked like a walking trash can with human legs. Oh, God, but this is horrific. That's one way to suffocate your child. State of New Jersey, home to this trash, as well as second highest infection, hospitalization, and death rate in the United States. Historic New Jersey Tavern could lose liquor license for serving patrons inside during coronavirus shutdown. Oh my god. You're selling alcohol during coronavirus. I mean, I can understand that people will want to go out because, um, you know, they just want to do something while they're in quarantine and they get, and they get really bored, right? But like, come on. Come on. Why do you have... I mean, you, you can just go get a beer and pop it open. I don't know. I mean, I've never had beer, but it's something. Just, just don't, just don't sell liquor. It's, it's not right. Oh my god, trashy. Dear Oak Park pre resident, I re oh my god, <clears throat> I really am sorry for taking the flowers out of your garden. All the grocery stores ran out. I literally went to six different stores. Oh my god, I'm tired and my mom is waiting. Put yourself in your shoes and, and you decide to be upset. Happy Mother's Day. Why did you have to take roses? Good God. Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. Why did you have to take roses? Why? Oh, my God. That is incredibly disrespectful. Taking roses from a person that... That... Oh, my God. That they didn't even suspect that the roses were taken. But good God. Come on. Why did you have to take roses like that? Dude, the, those are people who plant because they like to, you know, make their yards look better. But come on, yanking out flowers like that, it's not cool. I, I have like a, I have a garden in my kitchen right now, right? And I'm always paying attention to this, but looking at this image kind of angered me just a little. Saw this in the local news today, classy. Drunk woman with HIV and hepatitis C took a sold sanitary pad from her underwear and threw it at a cop. It seems like the kind of stuff that would happen in Florida, honestly. But Jesus, is that, does that inflict an extra little poison damage? Southwest Virginia never disappoints. Oh my god, the Confederate flag. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, why would you have Confederate flags? I mean, you want to fuck your sister? Go ahead and do it, but like, come on. You, don't, you can't have that stuff out here. It's going to offend people. Because... Oh my god, it's just it's just incest stuff. Oh my god, what am I even saying anymore? Apparently, the Denny's in my town is re feuding with the bank. That is the same parking lot as them. Denny's only, dumb bank only. No, that's a way to rebel. It is unfortunate when businesses... Oh my god, I don't want to reel that. But, I mean... 
I mean, that's a that's a way to rebel, honestly. Although, I mean, if you do share the same parking space, then I guess there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> wow, that's quite. A oh my god! All right, that is a certain way to not get employed by your employer. My god, is that the most vulgar thing I've seen on someone's lips? Please. Like, oh my god. Sorry about that. Um, please don't ever get a tattoo again. Because that is pointless. It's rude. And you're just making yourself look horrible. Thank you. So much trash, it blocks the windshield. Yeesh. <laughs> That's the guy from those math problems where he's always like, you got 37 sodas, you subtract 12 from it, you got 25. And this is the guy. An old man swiftly steals that woman's... Oh my god. A woman's purse. Why is he... Dude, don't. No, oh, come on. It's just an elderly woman. Why'd you gotta... Don't. Don't. Oh my god, this... Dude, why would you do that? This poor innocent woman. Oh my god, what a scumbag. Oh my god. Alright. I don't like seeing that kind of stuff. She's just a poor elderly woman trying to, trying to get herself fed. This... <clears throat> this... This stupid cuck here. He takes a woman's purse. It's not right. She needs the food. You are obviously more in shape than she is. God. God damn. Once you catch me cheating, I'll never trust you ever again. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, quick, well, quick thing to say. I'm always on Snapchat, right? And I always see the girls in my, um, in the stories, right? They're always posting stuff like that. I'm like, oh my god. Come on. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, really. But like, yeah, we get the message. Come on. I mean, I get the message. I don't know about everyone else. But personally, I just think that's annoying. <laughs> Period. Because if you catch me, that means you were snooping. And if you're snooping, that means you didn't trust me. Therefore, it's a lack of trust on your part. Listen. He? he? Because I can't be with somebody that don't trust me. Dude, just... Uh, that's, that's, that's a sad life you're living. You're cheating on many people for your own pleasures. That's not right. That's really not right. Absolute trust. I'm pregnant. Having a scan booth scan soon to find out if it's a girl or an abortion. Okay. I know I'm saying okay a lot, but I'm going to say this for the last time. Okay. What is it with feminists and their problems against men? Yeah, we're men. We got, we got those little things between our legs, but like, come on. Why? 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 Well, like, what did a man ever do to you? Jesus Christ, wh why are you calling it an abortion? Please, explain to me a good reason as to what a man did to you. Us men are guilty of nothing. I mean, yeah, sure, there is inequality sometimes, but like, come on, there's no need to be so hateful about men. That's not right. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to cut the video off here, because, like, this video is longer than I wanted it to be. Um, so this is my first time on Reddit, and I... Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want to, I'm not going to force you, even though I can't really force you to do it. You, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the video, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.